Hello, welcome back to the farm. It's November 2019 here in the Kuma district of Hawaii Island. Today we're going to be transplanting some taro, or as it's called around here, kalo. This is some kalo that I pulled up from another area, which I'll show you later in the video. It's been kind of growing not too impressively for a long time in that other area. So I thought I'd put it in an area where uh, it's the other taros we have seem to be happier. This is the area right here. On our land we have a lot of kind of low-lying areas and some more high-lying areas. The taro seems to do really well in the low areas because it likes to be in water, in mud. That's kind of where it enjoys being the best. So we had a lot of dry times for like over a week, which is rare for us, but last night we had a really big storm and now this area has some water in it and I thought this would be a good time to put the taro in so we could get nice and juicy right away. On this one, what you see going on is how the taro reproduces, which is by putting out keiki, which are um, babies. So here's the first taro that I pulled up. As you can see, this is the corn, which is the part if I were harvesting, I would eat it. This is the part that grows out of it. This is also edible. And then here are some roots that would come out of it. So one thing you could do and what some people do is they cut it off around here and then they take this top section and you can plant that as well. And if you were harvesting this to eat, that's what you might do. Um, and then it'll regrow a corm from this top section. But I'm just gonna replant the whole thing in, give it a good head start in life. The other thing I wanted to show you is this one. The keikis came off of the main corm and if you to separate them you can just kind of break them off which is what we're going to do so these babies give them another shot they come off really really easily here's a oh there's even a worm in there pretty happy i think that's a good sign they like they seem to do better in kind of a shadier areas. Um, this area gets more sun than this area, as you can see from right now. So I might put the smaller ones in the shady area, and they want to go right into the, they want to settle right in there. Just going to put them in. Okay, so I'm going to put these in too. The ones that don't have any any leaves yet. What did I do with all of them? And this bigger one. I mean, this area is less shallow, but I have some soil here that I'm gonna cover this whole area with. I'm gonna break these other corns off too. These babies. And I don't know what this worm wants. Whoa. Well, you're free now, worm. Okay. Put this one right here and let me show you what I'm gonna put on top. So this soil is from an old tire planter. We have a lot of tire planters that we've put in over the months and years that we've been living here. Almost all of them, the stuff that we put in originally has been kind of overgrown by roots from the surrounding stuff that gets in up under the tire and whatever we wanted to live in there kind of dies and the whole thing gets overrun with roots and anything you put in there doesn't really grow. But this still, you know, the taro isn't really picky. It just wants to be in a low area and I just need basically something to cover it um, in here. So this like, and also I think this stuff that's like not super great quality will eventually kind of gel with this swampy area and turn into good stuff. But there are, you know, there's plenty of healthy worms in here that I found just from... Here's a worm. Worms. There's plenty of stuff in here that looks like a dead worm egg. Empty worm egg. So I'm just going to basically dump all this stuff on top, cover everybody. It'll all eventually... Here's another worm. Worm. 
I might do another bucket load in here. Not sure. Again, these guys aren't super picky. They do, I'll show you the spot where they've been growing for a while. They don't seem to super duper care. Yeah, I might come in and do another load in here. But I could even, you know, if I didn't even have another load, I would just leave it like this and it would eventually figure it out. Now let me show you where we were coming from. Probably. Pulled. This is the planter bed where I pulled those corms from. Here, there's another one. I'll probably go, it just has a tiny leaf coming up. I'll probably go put this one in there too. As you could see, so this was put in by a friend of ours. It was mostly cinder soil. Um, there is some fungal material here, mostly forming at the base of this cover crop, which I don't really, I don't know what it is, but it's mostly the the fungus is at the bottom of this cover crop this isn't bad soil right it looks nice there's like there's worms in it but i think it's kind of a little bit too much in the sun for these guys they did put out some cakeys but as you could see they're not very big and they're yellow so i wanted to give them more of a low-lying area to see if they would do better now let me just pull this up and see what it's like in here there's even more guys in here. Oh no, took the roof off of that one. So as you can see, here's another one. This is all the corms all connected oh there's a worm in there too they really like living next to the roots like right in there the juicy area and here you know you can split these cakeys off just like the other ones i'll move these in a minute i just wanted to show you how they were growing here and then the last thing i want to show you is how taro does the other little light so here's a taro we put in a few months ago. This was a low-lying area that was just swampy, um, similar to the area that you saw um, where I planted. And as you can see, it's do doing really well here. This area kind of got, it just like really made itself at home in the swampy area that just before was kind of just, uh, it was more just like twigs with water. And now it's like really nice and good and it's really happy in here so this is kind of the goal of what we're looking for this is obviously not the healthiest taro it's a little yellow it could use some more nitrogen probably but we're working on it and that's kind of this is more of the goal so anyway now you've seen the process i'm gonna keep going finish those other taros you saw thank you for watching see you next time